Today we continue with TypeSense and we will be building a simple application for searching through a collection of books in React.js using TypeSense as the search engine. We will be also using Next.js and everything will be written in TypeScript. And for uh, CSS we'll be using Tailwind. Let's get started. Okay, so the idea is to create uh, this instant search type application, which means that the other, other name is search as you type. So it means that whenever you type something, the result appear uh, immediately. And this gives this uh, nice user experience. Uh, yesterday we did a simple JavaScript application, and today I would like to do or redo the same using React.js. And the idea is simply to show you how to do it using the most popular framework or UI library, whatever uh, you, you call it. So let's tr let's start with creating a Next.js application. So we will use uh, pnpm, and I will use uh, TypeScript uh, option because we want to have everything in TypeScript. Okay, and now let's open this and maybe let's move it here. Okay, and we have that. So, so we have our Next.js application created. Let's start to see if it works. It works, perfect. So now let's try to add Tailwind. For Tailwind, we just need to add those three dependencies like that. Then we need to initialize And then we just need to set the porch and tailwind. And finally, we need to add those three uh, directives into globals like that. And then an app, it's okay. Let's start. Okay, I think it works. Let's do a diff to quickly test. Okay, it works. So now we need to add Tailwind adapter, uh, sorry, TypeSense adapter. And we will be using this other project created by Algolia that provides widgets, components uh, for React to use with uh, the uh, instance search library we used in the previous episode. So it's called React Instance Search DOM. And let's add those two. And now let's go back to the command line. And here I have type sense so we last time we imported a collection of books so let's just start the server and the collection should be available if you don't have it go back to the previous video um, so the server is running and let's configure it the first thing would be to uh, create the connection so I will start here an index and uh, let me start with uh, TypeSense uh, instant search adapter which will be TypeSense 
instant search adapter, something like that. And this will be uh, an object where we will provide the connection. So API key and nodes. Uh, and here we will uh, have host local host uh, port and protocol h and then we will add additional search parameters query by and we will be querying by title and others others and uh, let's query by uh, weight and we will say that title is much more important than others and now we need to uh, create this interface so let me start with adding the instant search uh, component that comes from this react instant search library this one we have an error so the typings okay so let's add the typings. Okay. So now we need to provide the index name. So it's books in our case, as we defined that in the uh, previous episode. And then the search client. And this will be type since search adapter, search client. So the object we created here. Okay, it's good. And um, let's maybe uh, do a diff. This will be a flex, maybe. So we want to split the screen and let's say a site. And then main, like that. So main content will be here and here in a site, let me just say that it should be smaller and maybe different color and should span the whole screen like that. Let me start the server. Yeah, so we have this left side and the right side it works as expected and now let's add the search box so we will be using a component which is provided by the inst react instance search library and we will put it here and the component is called search box and once we add it we can type something here and we need results this is hits and we have it but we are displaying it as the JSON, so as the data is stored in our index. So we want to uh, make it a little bit uh, better. So we want to display it in a more uh, human way. And for that, we can define here that each element that is being displayed should be using this new component, uh, which we will call hit. We don't have it, so let's create it. So this will be hit component. I will create it here, but it should be eventually put into the, the components directory. But I wanted to keep it aside so you see what happens. And um, yeah, so we have div, and here we are passing the hit. So we will need that for now. Let's just go simple and let's use any. And let's display title. 
and we have the titles. But we would like to prefer maybe to have them displayed as a grid. Uh, so let's adapt that. So the idea here with um, this instance search library is that we, uh, those elements have predefined classes names. So as you can see, each element has hits item and then you have hits. So we just need to change how it's, uh, you know, the styles. And because we are using Tailwind, we will use the apply. And we will say that this is a grid of, let's say, three columns. And it should be calls. And this way, let me save. It will take a while. Yeah, we have each uh, in different column. And maybe let's uh, make it you know, different color so we see it and maybe with a border like that. And maybe we should also increase the gap between each uh, element in the grid like that. Perfect. So here let's maybe do a header free. And because certain headers are long, let's use this Tailwind class called Truncate so that we keep it uh, the same size. And here we can remove that. And now with just those two components, if I type something like def, as you can see, it, search, it searches through those uh, elements, naked, what else, something. So everything works. We already have a, a search application, but let's make it a little, a little bit better. So now let's uh, display uh, an image, a cover of this book. So this will be image and hit image URL. We need to specify the dimensions. So I will just type them directly like that. And now the problem is that those images are being served from a different host. So we need to uh, add those domains to the um, configuration. So they are allowed like that. So um, I forgot the syntax, but uh, it's something like, yeah, images, domains. So we do that. And uh, then we just copy this. Like that. And now if I refresh, it doesn't work because I need to restart, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, Next.js is telling us to restart because next config changed. And works. Perfect. We have images. So now let's adapt. Let's improve a little bit this um, display of each element. So I will just do PG gray here and border uh, top like that. Or maybe I should keep border here. Yeah. And maybe add some padding here and here as well. And maybe we should change the layout responsive like that. Uh, pretty nice. So now we could maybe improve 
because there are some gaps. So we can use this configure component and it has hits uh, per page and let's set it to nine. Perfect. We don't have pagination yet. That is very simple. Again, we just add pagination component and it works. We just need to make it nicer. But let me, yeah, so there's another domain we need to add like that very fast. We need to restart. Okay, perfect. So we have that, so we have pagination. I won't be uh, changing the styles for it, uh, for this now. Let me add some facets. So in this left side menu, we can add refinement list. And as before, we need to specify the attributes. So we will use authors. And we have it, perfect. So maybe, uh, let me, make it nicer. So now if I click on an author, I have only books of that person. And then uh, when I search, it only searches through those uh, books of that person. And I can paginate only in that uh, specific context. So last time we also did uh, sort by. So let's try to do that. So sort by a component. And this component has a default refinement, which is the name of our uh, index books. And then we have items. So this will be label and default and value, value will be uh, books. And then for the second one, application year value and here we will use the special syntax in type sense so we will do slash sort and then the name of the field and then how it should be uh, sorted so ascending and I have it I have some you know the interface is changing its size, but we will not fix that now. Let's leave it as it is. So we've only a couple of uh, widgets, components that come from this React Instance Search DOM library. We are able to build any search, instance search type application. Once you have data in your TypeSense index, you can just play with it and uh, build whatever you want. Let's stop here. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.